are on our way to Reykjavik, and right now we have uh, we're passing through the part of Iceland that really looks like Hoth. As you can see, there's really nothing to see. How you doing, Tam? Oh, I'm great. Just trying to figure this out. She's our comms officer and our nav officer, and uh, she's got her hands full. Thankfully, there are uh, railings. This is a good drop down on the side. That's huge. My hero. If there was no snow, this wouldn't be bad at all. No, it'd be quite lovely. But we're like in the interior now. Not even a few minutes later, and we're back to an area that has like color. The skies are constantly changing in this country. The drive from Isafjordur to Reykjavik covers 500 kilometers across the West Fjords Peninsula through all kinds of weather with very limited cell service. We had booked our snorkeling adventure months earlier and couldn't wait to swim between the tectonic plates that make Iceland volcanic. In Reykjavik, we're staying at the Storm Hotel, which is Actually, really, it's minimalist, but it's really comfy. Icelanders know how to shower well. It's got a towel warmer, which is... Do we turn it on? It's on. Oh. These are warm. Oh, my God. You do you, babe. I think you look happy. So toasty. The evening before our snorkeling adventure, we took off for a quick visit to a familiar site. Last time we were here, it was the middle of winter, and we were kind of the only people here. It has turned into a zoo. the pictures we wanted of the crater. All right, we're out. Now it's time to do the 45 minute drive back to Reykjavik. It's Saturday night with the Airwaves Festival going on in Reykjavik. Uh, the place is a madhouse. We got a parking ticket, no signs, no nothing. Just a bunch of cars there, we all got zapped. And it's uh, 10,000 kroner. It's time for darts. We got some bad news about our snorkeling trip on the way back to the city. We just found out that our snorkeling tour tomorrow has been canceled. Sure. Gonna, it's gonna be a big, big storm tomorrow. But Mike lifted my spirits. We're going to drink some more and play some darts at our old local yeah. that we visited last time we were here. So because of airwaves, they shut down all the streets, the main drag here, and it is now a pedestrian street. We made our way through the multi-venue music festival on our way back to our favorite local pub, Danske Krog. Oh, I don't think it's being used. We befriended some locals who introduced us to the wheel at the Drunk Rabbit. What's going on? Right, we got you. Yeah! <laughs> we had literally no idea what was happening. Something just happened, we spun a wheel and now we have a shitload of alcohol. We spun it three times. First time, it was three shots of KO. Second time, six small beers. Third time, eight large beers. How does this bar make any money? More darts to more drinks. By the time we saw police street wrestling, we desperately needed food. So we went to our favorite sandwich fix. Halal Batar. What a night. I just lost my phone and mic in the span of about 20 minutes. And we're ready to go back to our hotel. I got out of there a lot more gracefully than Mike did. <laughs> nope, I stepped on a woman's toes. We're home with these sandwiches. We're not 
Uh, I think we can make it all the way home. It's only like five more minutes. Ugh. This is so much fun. Good night. Saturday night in Reykjavik. Good night. We're kind of glad that the trip was canceled to go snorkeling because it's uh, it's very cold. It's a little snowy, but it's like heavy snow, almost rain. So we wouldn't have seen anything at the best of times. It's a little too dark. Really cold and rainy here. The gusts are pretty good. I reckon they're probably about like 40 kilometers an hour. No, not even, not even. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is Denska Bar. It really feels like home. They make you feel really welcome. It's half the hour until like seven o'clock, four to seven, half to three hours. So you buy a beer, you get a free beer. I love it. Oh, let's go in. We're in, we're in a tiny island in the North Atlantic, in the middle of a North Atlantic storm. We met a wonderful French chef named Remy, and he challenged us to a few games of darts while we drank and sheltered from the storm with a whole cast of characters. She's become an unstoppable monster. The Iceland Open darts tournament had just concluded in Reykjavik, so we met a bunch of friendly darters from all over. A 15 and a double fucking bull. This is why I married this woman. Good opponent, worthy opponent. You're the best. God this guy, damn. This guy right here. The best. <laughs> I'm cold and hungry. All right, we're going to the restaurant. Let's go. We're in the middle of like a big storm. All the flights are canceled right now. We're hoping our flight's still good for tomorrow because I'd say at this point I'm good to go home. But it's still cozy as hell, and I love it. You good, baby? Yeah. Remy called in a favor and set us up for a final honeymoon dinner experience at one of the top-rated restaurants in town. We're here at Public House, and it's cozy as fuck, and I'm really looking forward to this. We enjoyed some cocktails and sampled their Asian-American fusion menu while the storm howled outside. Thanks, Remy. Thanks, Universe. This has been the greatest trip of our lives. So, Amazing. Just this is the best. Mike and Tamara signing off from Iceland. Best honeymoon ever. The place where we had our honeymoon was the same place where we took our first trip together as a brand new couple almost three years earlier. It just felt right to return to the island where we said our first I love yous. We still have a lot more of the world to see together, but I know we will need to come back to Iceland again soon. Plus, we've still got credits to retake our snorkeling adventure. <laughs>